So now we have uh, oh, the Heat tonight. Um, completely blow a 12, 13 point third quarter lead. And this will go down as, what did you call it? The chicken the tender chicken, game or chicken finger game chicken or the game, the, yeah, chicken game, really the fried chicken game because the heat are up 11 points. Momentum He's is up 11 up. points. Caleb, Caleb Martin drives to the rim, draws a foul on Embiid. They go into a timeout. He comes off of the timeout, has two free throws, chance to push it back to 13, complete control of this game. And it's about, I think about six and a half minutes to go when this happened. Seven minutes. He misses the front end after he stands with the ball for I like 20 seconds, lot. it seemed like. He do, no, he does. He does. But it seemed like it was even longer than no. that, than normal. It almost looked like he was on the line like Giannis holding the ball forever. And and then the next one, he misses. And then the next one, he shoots like this, and he bricks it. The place goes He's bananas because they're going to get some free chicken tenders or whatever the hell it is. And they come back down the floor. Nick Batum, who we decided we weren't going to guard for whatever reason, as if they didn't know that Nick yeah, Batum could shoot, which that's all he's done his whole, whole career, hits a three. It's now an eight-point game. Caleb Martin comes right back down the floor, drives around the edge, has MB, and B is gassed. And B can't jump. He's got three fouls. Jump into his ass. Draw a foul. Something. Anything but what he did, which was do that typical drive and kick. And you try to kick it around um, MB. Turns it over right to Tyrese Maxey, I think it was. Pushes the ball down the floor, and now it's a six-point game. The entire game changed. The energy of that arena completely changed. And mind you, this is all while Jimmy Butler got landed on, is not playing very well. Tyler Hero, who at one point was four for 19. And, and and we sit here and people talk about why I don't like Tyler Hero. That's why. Yeah, he got a little hot streak at the he, he end of that game. Change. Great, but but if but if he but if he had but if he hadn't played terribly for most of the game, we're up twenty fucking points, and we we overcome the fact that Jimmy didn't play well. Now the guy I have a oh, bigger right. beef with yes. is Bam Adebayo. I'm sick of watching this guy play basketball. I can't stomach it anymore. This man, every single big game, absolutely disappears. Joel Embiid needed to be in a wheelbarrow, pushed up the floor, a wheelchair. The man is bent over from the first quarter on, can't breathe, and yet Bam Adebayo finishes with nine shots, ten points, on five of nine shooting. He has 12 boards, and yet he's not even guarding Embiid defensively. He's guarding Batum, and Batum is the one torching Miami. And I'm sitting here watching Eric Spolster, who was an amazing coach, and in the first half, the zone worked. You can't expect to play a fucking elementary school zone for four quarters in the NBA. And they stu- they stayed in it the whole damn game. And in the fourth quarter, he's guarding Batum. And Caleb zone. Martin so it ended Taylor. up working out that way. It wasn't like he was guarding Batum. Hey, but he was never guarding MB. Yeah, he never zone, guarded Embiid at that point. Because Embiid was outside. Embiid was standing at the other zone. Get, get out of the damn matchup zone. Well, get into a damn match. That's my problem with, with Spolter. You, you, like you have to adjust. You, really, you got to adjust like, to it. Would you fight when does Fo deserve to be on the hot seat? You asked me that earlier. This week. I asked you said, that the other day. You know, when does he ever? When is he ever in danger of losing said, his but job? But I would like his playoff success. You know, supersedes what he does in the regular season. So you know, and we're gonna and be an instinct like, again Riley, if we win. You no, know, it's loyal to his people. You know, to nature. To but a fault. Mind, Except to, except to Dwayne Wade when said, we needed him not did to. Did you ever have a problem that you wanted to – I say no, but I do have a problem with some of the things that he does in key moments. And it's been and, – and today reminded me of what it was. I forgot what it was. It was when we go in this zone and when the team is just trying – and it worked for a while. And, we, and when the, the team started trying step. to get back in the game with threes, that's what – that's the easiest thing to get threes in. It worked early off. You threw them off. But now, you know – they were, I think, three you know, for twenty in the NBA first half from three. I think like that, that. The whole game, especially when they get open. These players are just too fucking good nowadays. The just the two was open wide like open that. every and shot. The two has a quick release, so that even make it even. He, he don't even bring it down, so he catches it up. He just releases it from the top, so you can't even get out there. So you really need to be attached to him, especially when he gets it going after he hit two. All right, Spoke, come out of the zone and go, man. I, I, you're probably scared about Maxi blowing by us because we're getting blown by by everybody that also. So maybe he's worried about that also. I, I mean, but also, Embiid was not the player he was, you know, to be. So we're giving him all this attention when we literally could just put Bam on him 
Or we could have kept Kevin Love and who played pretty well. We were we were double we were exactly. doubling him. Twenty two feet from the rim. And you let a team get back in the game. You let a team get back in the game by getting twos, not by getting threes, because in three Yes. In three I've always said that. I they could cut a ten point lead down to one in three possessions. It, it happened bam, 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 this ten game. It's literally, it's literally that's, what happened. NBA, that's what happens. So that's my gripe with Spo. He stays in that zone too long. You have to adjust. Come out of it. And another thing that I noticed about the Miami Heat, and we Ben said this even last year when Duncan Robinson was going through a slump, our offense goes to dirt crap without him out there because he's present. No, he, he you need he, Duncan. We he's need the Duncan one that our offense badly. Triggered around because everything moves around him. He 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 sets the back screens. He come off screens, and then you have to send two people out there, and the other person slip, and they get a layup, or they don't get out there to him. He get a quick release. He get the shot off. It just makes it a little bit harder for the defense. So when he's not out there, our, our offense gets so stagnant and things of that nature. And then the bam, the bam scenario. Like I, he gets me, he gets me every year. He got me again this year, and I said I wasn't gonna let it happen. Every the bam year. plays so good. The first half of the year, every year he comes out, he shows a couple of different moves that, that's in the arsenal. He got the mid-range jump shot. He goes on the post. He got the fadeaway. Everything's working for him. He's not being shy to get the ball up. And then we get around the last 10, 15 games of the season, 20 games of the season, he starts getting fucking gun shy again. And I'd be like, no, you're the best fucking player on the team or the second best player on the team. Shoot the ball. We're not going to be mad at you if you're being aggressive. If, if Bam is... It's four for 19. I'm not mad. I'll be like, hey, my best player came out. Dude, I want him. To, I, I, you have a guy who can't move so, guarding him. Why aren't reason, you attacking only I him? Give him a little, only reason All I give game. him a little bit of, you know, slap, you know, I give him a little grace for it because when you play in beat, his, well, he should be guarding him. Beat him. He wasn't should, guarding him. Drain him a little bit, so his offense isn't going to be there. So I'll take that if, it's, if, you know, if he's taking him beat out of the game, but he's not guarding him. And, that changes the whole fact. Go, I need you to be aggressive and being that guy. So that's a big thing I have about them, man. And it's just it's real frustrating to watch sometimes because they're such a good team and they'll they'll straight by this game right here and then they'll give Boston Celtics a hell of a series. The, the, the first the the first half they looked Except exceptional. Six minutes. Defensively, they would have that was the best defense I've seen the Heat play in two months. The Sixers didn't know what to do. They were turning the ball over left and right. I think I texted you. They had seven turnovers, and we were still losing. And and then all of a sudden, it started to change because we started making some shots because we kept turning them over. But you got, I, I don't – Bam Adebayo was on the Olympic team. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. There's someone so, – for what? I got I, – I don't need him out. I don't need a, a useless guy who's not going to take a shot. I mean, when so, we, that's all we got well, to do Anthony Davis can do that. They got and Embiid's know, playing for the Embiid, U.S. for Christ's sake. Embiid and, he, and AD. I, I, you, I don't need. I don't need uh, another. I don't AD need Bam out of Bayou out there. Let alone AD with, on the team, huh? Yeah, it's, okay. it's Embiid and AD. Yeah, and and I just. I mean, they also stacking three point guards. I don't know why Jimmy Butler's not part of this team. Jimmy, he must just not want to be because. He just yeah. he must not even want to be because to, to tell me that, MB, that that Bam's on that team ahead of him is ridiculous. But every, I mean, ten points, dude. Jimmy Butler's hurt. You know he's fucking hurt, and you won't take the damn ball. Even dribbling the ball up the floor. We don't and have he, a point guard now. He's really we good at it. Our he's point like guard. our other point guard for the most part. How, how about if he's dribbling the ball with 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 with, with speed up the court? Touch. What I is Embiid going to do? One time to Embiid, Embiid one year. I was like, damn, okay, he's really attacking Embiid. Bro, so we traded our point guard for another point guard. And what happens to the point guard we trade for? He's injured. He's not playing. Terry Rozier's out. It's like, it's unreal. Duncan Robinson's out. And the guy who's beaten us now three times, which is why we are not a freaking sixth seed right now, is Kyle Lowry for Philly. And it's mind blowing that the the guy who we gave away for basically seems like nothing now because we have nothing for it, and we're running Tyler Hero at point guard the entire game. Why not run Delon like, Wright at point guard? He's, he's, Where's Patty Mills? I mean, Patty's more of a shooting. A, a shooting. I know, I but Tyler Hero can barely handle the ball. He's, he's you know, Hero can. 
barely handle the ball. And, and he's out there, and he turns the ball over. Yes, he got pushed in the back. They can say what they want. He got flat shoved in the back by, by Nick Batum, which made him step on ha- at, at midcourt. But even the fact that you're handing the ball off two feet from the midcourt line just shows such a lack of and, intelligence. And Hawkins, though. That was Hawkins. It's Hawkins. The most, it's such a lack of basketball intelligence that you're doing a, a handoff with tight-ass defense like that two feet from backcourt, from the midcourt line. It is absolutely stupid, and it's it's typical of what Tyler Hero does. It, he does things like this. Even the last shot he took, he should have shot the ball when he caught the ball. No, he needed to do a pump fake, a dribble left. He burned three yeah. seconds doing that. It may, probably didn't make a difference. But by the time the ball goes in, there's point three left. If it doesn't go yeah. in, it doesn't go in. But making it to make it a one-point game so you can pad your numbers, um, I'm very frustrated. We're going to play the Bulls because the Bulls are waxing yeah. the shit out of the Hawks right now. They're up 13 at, at midway well, through the third, yeah. second floor. Well, we um, same we as we played them last game. year. We've seen, we've seen the heat we up at halftime. And half-time. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.